Hello, beautiful soul, and welcome. My name is Angel from the HealedHealerTarot.com. Thank you so much for joining me here on my channel where we learn, grow, and expand together, working to raise the collective consciousness one unique soul at a time. This channel is dedicated to spiritual enlightenment, soul evolution, self-actualization, and awakening to meaning and purpose in life. So if that is something that you are interested in, then you are in the perfect place at the perfect time for the perfect reason. This is a timeless energy read. However, we do draw upon the energies of the cosmos to help guide us like a roadmap towards your highest good and your greatest soul's vibration. So with that being said, this is a new moon in Aries reading for the collective soul sign of Virgo. I do set the intention that this reading may resonate with you wherever you may find Virgo placements in your chart. If you do not know your chart and your chart placements, you can get a free copy of your birth chart over at my website and the information for that is listed in the description box below. And for a short time, if you subscribe and become a part of the Soul Joiner family, you'll receive a free astrology report as well. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you as a part of the tribe. So let's talk a little bit about this new moon in Aries energy before we jump right into the reading. This new moon in Aries energy is happening on a step 11 day, the sun at 11 degrees of Aries, the moon is also at 11 degrees of Aries, conjuncting Chiron at 12 degrees on a day of 11. April the 1st, 2022, in most areas, at least here in the East Coast at 2.24 a.m. And it is bringing you into the energy vibration of 11. We will be feeling this energies from the 31st all the way through April the 2nd, but the energy is aligning us for opportunities, doorways, planting new seeds to really help to ascend us to the next level in our lives. So the energy is really opening up and giving us the opportunity to transmute and change any generational curses, any issues um, that we've had in the past, and to release those things so that we can finally ascend to a higher level of vibration. So the energy is opening up for a lot of blessings for each and every one of us as we use this energy to help to manifest and align with new earth. So the other thing that I want to talk about before we jump into the reading is the energy of 1111 on the day of 11 at a step 11 is also bringing in the energy opportunity for twin flame unions to come together. So if you're in a twin flame union or if they're, you know, you know, anyone who's in a twin flame union, if you've been actively working on yourself or they've been actively working on their selves and now your energy vibrations are actually aligning, a lot of twin flame unions will be coming together over the next few days and it is bringing us, bringing a lot of twin flames together together over the next few weeks and you know as we go into this energy right around about the end of April there'll be some transition and changes and the universal energies are really saying if things haven't come together by this point then they're not coming together at least not at this time so let's go ahead and see what other energies are coming through for you with this new moon energy what seeds are you going to be planting Virgo and how you're going to be manifesting and bringing in some ascension and you know really upgrading over the next year so this energy starts the astrological new year so it's all about planting the seeds for the things that you really truly want to manifest and grow and we're not talking about planting the little seeds of desire we're talking about the sky is no limit think big dream big feel big and you know and create big create whatever it is that you truly desire because now it's the universal energies and the time to you to get your blessings met so let's jump into the energy i would like to Tune in and tap on our energies together. Energy is fluid. That means, you know, this, whenever you come across this video is the perfect time for you. We connect the universal energy of breath through prana. So that's the life force that runs through me, through you, and through all living things. So it connects us together and we can ground and center ourselves in the now and tune in and tap on our energies together. So I want you to take a deep breath in and hold for however long it feels comfortable. Release that. And I also want you to release any expectations and any tension that you're feeling anywhere in your body. I want you to continue to breathe in and to breathe out. 
and bring to your mind's eye what it is that you came to this reading for more clarity, more insight, and more understanding about. But I also want you to be open to whatever messages come through as they are for your highest good and your greatest soul's vibration. You can also pick a number from one to three if you want a little bit of an almost personal reading. And we're going to pull some oracle messages at the end for a little bit of an additional advice. All right, beautiful Virgo. Let's go ahead and tune in and tap on our energies together. spirit we have clear and concise messages for the soul sign of virgo what does virgo need to know in this moment in time with this new moon in aries energy for their spiritual purification enlightenment elevation evolution and healing what does the soul tribe of virgo need to know for their spiritual growth we have a card jumping out let's look and see what it is two cards actually we have the energy of the ace of cups wow brand new beginnings and a lot of things coming in for you i love the eight of the ace of cups energy because it really talks about whatever it is that you want there's an opportunity for you to plant the seeds of whatever you shall desire my dear and you will reap those benefits beautiful energy and it's coming in back of the energy of the page of swords so there's something that you need to take action on but there's also something that you need to learn throughout this process and the way i'm getting this energy you need to learn how to manifest through your emotions so that's through the sacral energy is how this is coming through for me let's go ahead and see what additional messages want to come through for the soul sign of virgo virgo energy for this new moon in aries energy. what messages for virgo show me clearly for their spiritual growth and so it is thank you spirit All right, so what is coming in and grounding this reading? The world, yeah, freedom, moving up to the next level, truly ascending some place and space and time. This is a sense of freedom. It's a lot of sense of happiness. This is what you're moving into in this astrological new year. This is what the opportunities of this new moon in Aries energy is really bringing for you. It's bringing you for an, a sense of opportunity to also, as, not only to ascend, but to also really free yourself from, from, from some things, some old cycles that have been long outdated and that have been holding you back from your greatest and highest first and like really having all of the joy abundance and happiness that you want in your life so there's an opportunity for you to release that and move into this glory i love it so let's look and see what is no longer in alignment with you hierophant energy so maybe it's an outdated belief, an outdated way of doing things, an outdated way of um, behaving. It could be, you know, religious factors or things that you learned as a kid, things that you've kind of taken along with you. You, you don't even realize that those same old patterns and those same old way of thinking and doing things is getting you the same results. And those results aren't the results that are aligning with where you want to be and where you see yourself advancing and moving in the future. So there is an energy here about family with that um, Taurus energy, but it's also an energy that talks about your wealth. It talks about your stability. It talks about your foundation. It talks about maturity and growth. And it also talks of an energy of connections. So there's an energy of really working on your finances and your finances not being in alignment with where it is that you want to be in your life. So there's going to be huge financial changes going in for this new year. What has never been in alignment with you? The Empress energy. Mmm something that you've been nurturing and trying to grow is how I'm getting this. It could be a partnership, a marriage, or a collaboration that's really not benefiting either one of you. Neither one of you are truly growing. You have 
three major arcana cards to start right out of the gate and not only that it's telling me that there's a cycle ending what is this cycle ending in it's cycle this cycle is ending in some form of relationship or some form of partnership or collaboration that is, was nurturing and supportive or should have been but never really was supportive for one or the other of you is how this energy is coming through maybe one person's needs were getting met but the other person's needs have not been getting met so there's this understanding that you know the way i've been doing this the way i've been doing these things are not in alignment with me with me and in order for me to have the growth in order for me to step into this empress energy of abundance some things really need to change so what opportunities and doorways are opening up for you just to take back control you have the energy of the knight of wands the knight of wands is fearless the knight of wands is ambitious it also takes action on the things that they truly want. There's an energy of needing to move forward or needing to follow your own passion and desire. It is an energy that talks about the self, right? It's the energy of Sagittarius. So it's saying that there are some things in your life that you really want to explore. There are some places that you really want to evolve and grow into, and you really need to follow that energy. You're, you're feeling, you're feeling, um, um, like pressed or, or, you know, strongly urged and motivated to move in a certain direction. And so it's almost like when the universe, when God nudges you to do something, there's this need to take action, right? Because these opportunities are cyclic. You have the energy of the Hierophant, which talks about spiritual knowledge, right? It talks about how we use the science, the universe, the elements, and all of those things in order to manifest and bring about change in our lives. It talks about we're always constantly in the energy of creation co-creating with source and spirit so there's something that you need to take action on why you have this window of opportunity to do so we use the windows of opportunity as they present themselves to us so this new moon in aries energy is saying plant some really good seeds right now of what it is that you truly desire but make sure these desires are based on what it is that you want how you want to move forward where you see your life evolving over the next six months to year to five years there you go. There goes the sun, right? Focusing on your own happiness, focusing on your own growth. That's how this energy is coming through. If you actually move toward the thing that is going to bring you happiness, it's also an energy that's saying there's a lot of enlightenment that's coming through here as well, but it's going to upgrade you, right? It's going to give you all of the new tools, knowledge, and information that you need in order to be able to be your own manifester. And you'll be able to create and manifest at a, at a drop of a dime whenever you want, you know, when you get in tune and in touch with your true self, with your true nature of who you truly are, which is omnipotence. You're omnipotent. You know, you're, you, you have everything and all things within you. You are a part of the all and the all is a part of you. And so that's that acknowledgement. That's that awakening and that's that awareness. When you get to that energy of understanding your true being, your design, your d spiritual design as a spiritual master. And that's the energy that you're moving into. So your old way of thinking and believing, maybe what you were taught when you were a child, hasn't been bringing you the fruit, the harvest and the benefit that you want. But you're also realizing that you've been looking at it wrong and now you're getting an energy of enlightenment so now you're ready to move towards your own happiness and that happiness starts within and that's the reason why it's fire energy that's coming out because they're saying that you can't do this outside of yourself this is something that has to be done from the inside out beautiful energy i love it and then at the at the bottom of the deck you have the energy of wheel of fortune so you're getting a brand new cycle is coming in it's going to be abundant it's going to be prosperous it's going to bring a lot of fortune a lot of luck in for you lots of blessings are on the horizon virgo i love this energy coming through beautiful lots of happiness it's going to bring you a lot of happiness you do need to take action though that's why that knight of wands is coming out it's saying you need to take action you can't sit back and just think things will happen you have to create the change that you want to see in the world that's just how it came through with that knight here and world energy create the change that you want to see in the world and remember with this aries energy is saying all is mine so everything starts in the mind that burning desire and passion and when you love something you nurture it and you support it and then 
then you help bring it into existence. This is bringing in the energy of some inner child wound healing that is also taking place with this new moon in Aries energy. As we go through the month of April, it's going to be bringing up a lot of energy for you to release. So there's time. This is time for you to release any old stagnant energy that just is, it, you know, it has no purpose in the now. It really has no purpose in the now. It's old. We can release it. It has no purpose in where it is that you're going, where you're heading, or where your blessings lie. We've learned those lessons, right? With the Herophant energy, learning those old lessons so that we can transmute and change our realities. So what's coming in on this energy of the Herophant? We have the energy of the daughter of Earth. So yeah, page of cup and page of pinnacles energy. It's definitely saying that you're learning a new way of living. You're learning a new philosophy that you're following. You're very optimistic about this new information that you're learning. This could be even getting a higher level of education, going back to school. When we look at the Herophant energy, that brings me into the energy of like doctorate level. But there's but the page just says you're just starting on this journey. So maybe you're just starting on this journey of spiritual discovery or you're just starting on a journey to go back to get a higher level of education however it's manifesting for you you're actually working on yourself this is you taking the time to realize that i want to start something new i need to put the time energy and attention to myself and i want to manifest some do different things in my life because the way i was taught and how i was doing it is not in alignment with who i am now yeah, dear, you got the uh, Wheel of Fortune energy is coming in twice. So this is definitely a change for you. It's a change in the way you've always done things. You're trying things and doing things differently. But the way in which you're doing it is bringing in a lot of blessings, a lot of abundance and prosperity. Beautiful, beautiful energy. And then there yeah, are wishes and dreams and hopes are coming true. So this is something that is destined for you. It's a part of your North Star. It's a part of where you're meant to grow into. It's a part of your spiritual evolution and development. You have getting the DNA activation. You probably been and getting a lot of downloads, a lot of things that have been coming into your awareness and you're ready to take action on that, which is beautiful energy. It is in alignment with who you are and it's bringing you on your path to greatness. And then we have this... Um, Empress energy, which we have the Knight of Cups. So when you nurture and love yourself and you put the energy in into yourself, you're going to be able to rebuild your goddess energy. So this is just you doing what you need to do for you, moving away from anything that's not in alignment with what fulfills you, that what's going to help to support you and to help you to grow. So there's an energy here of wanting to go within yourself, needing to go within yourself and focus on what emotionally drives you. There's opportunities, right? Both of these cards talk about wishes and dreams coming true. So look how he's looking. He's looking out, out into the, the ethers, right? Realizing and understanding that there's so much more out there for me than what it is that I see right now in my current environment. And he's envisioning a whole brand new world for himself. So I love that energy. And then you have the energy of disappointment, right? Because there's been this energy of being disappointed with what it is that you've gotten in the past. Things have really completely died off. That's that energy of too much focusing on what has no life, what has no meaning or what has no ability to be brought back to life to regenerate. There's something here that only brings disappointment, but there is still hope. But we just need to look forward to the hope. We have that Mars energy that says take actions towards bringing in more happiness, more abundance, more prosperity, more joy. This is an energy of needing to bring in more joy. But when we focus too much on the past, we only do what? Create more of the past. And then you have the energy of the fool. The fool comes out in reverse. So it's the fear of taking risks. It's a fear of change, right? That's a huge Virgo energy that Virgos do not like change. Virgos get systematic. They like things to function in the same way, things to be routine. They don't like to go outside of their comfort zone. This is an energy that's saying that you need to do it new because the old is only going to repeat more of the old. Be mindful of what it is that you're birthing. You need to follow your emotions and passion. This is also an energy that says follow your intuition because there are things in the past that are not growing, not evolving. And if you continue to do the same thing or focusing on the old, you're gonna bring more of the same. So be mindful of the new things that you wanna birth and make sure that your intentions are coming from a positive place and not from a resentful, negative, or um, um, resentful. Now I'm thinking of another word besides resentful. 
grudges, like where you're continuing to hold grudges about things that you should just release. And then the opportunities that are coming through, you have the energy of the son of earth moving towards what's destined for you. This is an energy of being on your own journey, evolving within your own self, getting the, the, the skills, the tools, right? Starting on this journey, going it, putting, being dedicated to it, dedicated to learning, dedicated to the journey, dedicated to the process, doing what it is that it takes, right? That's that Virgo energy that's coming through here. This is you being dedicated to you and ready to take action towards creating something new for yourself. And that's the paradigm shift, right? Whereas in the past, you put out all your time and attention into other people or other things. Now you're having this realization that you need to begin to nurture yourself in this season. And there you go. When you start nurturing yourself and focusing on yourself, you have stability. You'll bring in stability. You'll bring in happiness. You'll bring in a lot of prosperity, advancements. Things will be definitely changing for you. There's an opportunity for in the near future for there to be celebrations and accomplishments. So there's lots of accomplishments on the horizon, but it's going to require you to start to work on yourself, to focus on what it is that you need and to not focus on other people. The energy is saying we want you to focus on you right your energy your inner child focus on your passions your desires what you need to grow and develop staying in your own lane not worrying about what other people are doing and then you'll reap the benefits of success for yourself and growth and there goes the empress energy now we have the empress energy coming back out again you'll be in your full power right you'll be in your full power of being able to manifest what it is that you desire so there's just a little shift and change in your energy where you've been nurturing and taking care of other people and other things that you need to really shift and change and put all of your energy into you and then you'll be able to bring in the abundance the prosperity the happiness that you want to bring into your life so what is this energy yeah the Eight of Swords, letting go of the old past way of doing things. That's that repetitive loop cycle. I like to call this energy um, autopilot. When we're on autopilot, you're just doing it because that's what we usually do, right? We don't even think about it. You know, we just continue to do it that way because that's the way we've always done it. But we don't realize that it keeps us stuck in the same loop, in the same pattern. It doesn't allow us to grow. It keeps us stuck. So now that's been enlightened to you. You're realizing that you need to get rid of the autopilot and you need to actually begin to change your directory of the direction in which you're going by actually changing your thoughts not focusing on the past, loss, regrets, remorse, whatever it is, and only focusing on the future and speaking into existence what it is that you want to manifest. Remember that your words have meaning. And there you go. We got the page of cups. This is focusing on nurturing and loving and supporting yourself. It's also allowing your intuition to guide you. It's saying, take a childlike energy about this. Get back to the energy of play. Get back to what you really truly love to do, what you enjoy, and let that be the energy that helps you grow. I almost heard like in my mind, like the energy of singing and of expression, of personal self-expression. So there may be something that you want to express and share that you want to share with others in the form of writing or in the form of song or written or spoken word um, in some form of expression or communication with the eight of swords energy. And it's something that is really authentic about who you truly are that you want to share with others. And there you go. That leads to your wealth and abundance. So if you've been thinking about writing, if you've been thinking about personal speaking, if you've been thinking about doing some kind of influencer work or, you know, getting some kind of platform or some form of stage, it will bring in a lot of prosperity and abundance for you. And it will also help you to become more grounded and stable um, with that Hierophant energy, which is talking about your long term wealth, building a legacy for yourself, for your family to pay it forward. And there is this whole new world that's opening up to you, Virgo. All you have to do is take the action steps that are required to move towards it. And the weird thing about it is the action steps just simply mean focusing and working on you. So let's look and see what your messages of advice. Lovers, choosing the self choosing yourself and choosing your higher self. I love that energy. And then you go into no longer having that power struggle. 
knowing in what direction you want to go. This is an energy of sacrifice for me. You have an opportunity to grow and expand and do something different, move into a whole new way of doing things. But yet you have that power struggle between the way in which you used to always do things. So you're tempted to kind of stay and continue to do what you've always done, but you know where that leads you. But there's a little bit of fear or just a little bit of stubbornness about trying something different because you're so set in your ways with that Herophot energy. Spirit is definitely saying, don't be set in your ways. Allow yourself to grow. That's the only way you can reach this energy of complete freedom, complete liberation, and the happiness, blessings, and abundance that is yours by your divine right. We block our own blessings, right? And that's what this energy is saying. Don't block your own blessings, right? There goes that five of sword, um, five of pentacles energy. Don't block your own blessings by being too stubborn to grow. Yeah. Don't block your own blessings by being too stubborn to grow. That's how I'm feeling this energy. Don't block your own blessings by being too stubborn to grow. This is the five of swords energy, you know. Because you have the Ten of Pentacles twice. I mean, the ten, uh, the Wheel of Fortune twice. You have the Ten of Pentacles out here. You have the Empress twice as well. Which lets me know that there's a lot of ability for fertility and for growth and abundance here. But there's actions that you have to take. And it's like you have to get out of your own way. It's that stinking thinking or the pessimistic thinking. And there you go. Seven of, of Swords. Self-deception. Cheating yourself out of an opportunity to blossom and grow. It also has an attachment related to fear. You know, that's a, a real big Virgo thing. You get so fixated on what you don't have that you stick to what you have because it's comfortable, because it's 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 secure, right? You know what to expect with it, but you can't grow further or get any more than what you have because you won't give yourself an opportunity to take that leap of faith and leave your comfort zone to explore something new. All right, beautiful souls. Let's get some additional messages for Virgo for energies from one through three spirit. What does Virgo need to know to help them with this process of tuning into themselves and actually trying something new? And so it is. Thank you. For number one. Clean it up. 21. Allowing your emotions to guide you, your emotions and tapping within that intuition is going to lead to the new stuff, what it is that you need to clean up so that you can move forward. And then you have come to the edge, right? That's that energy of taking a risk. You know you're destined for more. You know you want more out of life. You believe in yourself. If you believe it, you will receive it. That's what this energy says. And then you have, well, mending wanted to come out. So you have breathe and the energy of mending wanted to come out. So we're going to go ahead and use mending as an overall energy for everybody. Rather, you picked one, two or three for the general collective energy. And then at the bottom of the deck, we have chaos and conflict. So that's that battle that's going on within. All right, beautiful Virgo. So for the energy of one, we have clean up, vibration of 21. Ever feel so bogged down with emotional gunk that you can't think straight? Could you be surrounded by physical clutter in your home also? Too much work, overwhelmed, time to clean house. Every time out of every item out of place matters. Every item out of place natters away at you. Every unresolved resentment, every comparison to others that leads to a sense of lack takes up energetic space. Every unpaid bill just adds up to the unnecessary feelings of being overwhelmed. Now is time to free yourself by energetically cleaning house. Just do it. Make room for the miracles that are lining up for you. All right, Virgo, and let's do the energy of number two. The energy of number two coming to the edge, 
Facing the unknown is the only choice you really have right now if you want to progress. It's okay to be afraid. Now is the time to take the risk that is not calculated to feel the exhilaration as you're ready yourself for a leap of faith. Spirit is present, so let go of fear. You are called to express your true self. Listen to your heart and soul, not your head. Come to the edge and discover that you can fly. You must step into the unfamiliar so that you may find your miracle. I love it. When you believe it, you can achieve it. Let's move to the energy of three. Breathe. Patience and all is called for right now. What do you need to do when you're in a rush? Slow down, of course. Meditate and trust. Breathe and repeat. Humans cannot exist without drawing breath. Now is the time to allow the life-giving elements of air to replenish your body, your being, and your very essence. Stop to smell the roses. Breathe in the sunlight and release the darkness and miracles will appear. You had miracles pop up a couple of times in this reading. You got the Wheel of Fortune coming in. You have the Knight of Cups, which is all about miracles and blessings that are coming in. This is beautiful energy for you, Virgo. Capitalize on the energy, right? And 52 is mending. I love this energy because I know how stubborn Virgos can be. My best friend is a Virgo and she can be awfully stubborn. And sometimes you have to release some things. And I'm saying that because this highest vibration of the energy of 52 is the, is the um, last card in this deck, which really talks about a culminating energy. Whatever energy ends out something, it's a culminating energy. And it's an energy of you think and you feel, right? That's an energy that says your heart and your mind have to be in alignment in order for you to move purposefully onto your path. So mending. Each time we are hurt and allow the hurt to pass through us without understanding and integration, we accumulate an unwanted burden. This keeps us changed to the very thing we need to heal. The pain, the memories, the echoes of resentment and the arguments that we rehearse over and over. Now is the time for mending rifts, healing wounds and letting go of the old hurts in order to reclaim your power. Now is the time to forgive, to release, to make peace and to make amends to others set yourself free that has been your energy for the new moon in aries virgo thank you so much for allowing me to read for you and if you haven't already done so what are you waiting for go ahead and hit that like button share these videos to those that you think can benefit from the messages and subscribe become a part of the soul joiner family where we learn grow and expand together working to raise the collective consciousness one unique soul at a time and that unique soul is you until our soul pass cross again soul joiner i am wishing you love peace blessings happiness and abundance be on to you have a blessed and abundant new moon in aries virgo namaste